Okay. Okay, my technique for removing the oil filter assembly on top of the motor is to use the uh, oil filter pliers um, along with microfiber cloth. Just place it around the filter assembly, get a good grip on it, and uh, break it loose. Okay, here's a view of the cloth over the filter and the wrench and I was able to easily break it loose. It is pretty warm so this way here that helps you from uh, burning your hands or whatever. Okay now the oil filter is loose and we can unscrew the filter assembly and we'll show you what we got here in a second. And now we're at the removal of the oil filter assembly just give you an idea of what it looks like and coming out Voila. okay supplied with your BMW oil filter you're going to get a new filter assembly a crush washer for your drain plug two o-rings a large o-ring for the filter here it goes down here and then you have a smaller o-ring that's going to go right there so we're going to swap out the o-rings in the filter now <clears throat> okay a couple uh, helpful hints when uh, removing the old o-rings I used uh, this tool and uh, popped them right off and uh, when you reinstall the uh, o-ring on the filter make sure it's on this groove here and not all the way up at the base that's the way it was removed and the filter goes into the assembly with the uh, writing towards the top. Okay, we're going to reinstall the filter until this green mark lines up with the green mark on the uh, housing assembly. Okay, after adding seven quarts of oil, taking the car for about a five to ten minute test drive, we're going to select our uh, oil level here. And see what we got. Oil is at max, and oil is okay. Finally, uh, pop the hood, check for uh, leaks up top by the filter assembly and uh, down at the bottom. Oil change is complete.